Lorenzo, what you got, bud? That's, that's a keeper, Bubba. Well, what you doing? You look like you never touched a snapper before, bro. Wait, wait, you're getting awful close to that edge. Like, you want to let him go? You want to let him go or something? You want the bucket, don't you? <laughs> right? Little man doing it. He's got, he's got the ticket right here, man. That's lunch. That makes a good sandwich. A sandwich. Yeah, it'll, it'll make a sandwich. Welcome back to Wash Your Lips. Watch right your here, lip. we have an, almost an 11 inch mango snapper. And so I said, why don't we not let it go to waste? So we went fishing to, and went in and let. Yeah. So I am going to fillet, catch, and eat. Cook. cook. You're gonna cook I'm your gonna own, cook fish my own fish for the first time ever. For the first time ever. You're gonna make some sandwiches. 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 Feeding my family. Hey. Feed. Well, you're gonna feed yourself and maybe I'll have a bite or two. No. That's about all the meat that's gonna be on that guy. Make sure to like this video, subscribe down below, and we're so close to a thousand. We're getting so to a thousand. We're getting to a thousand. Come on, a thousand subs. <laughs> a thousand subs. Hit the sub button, guys. Do it. Do it if you like. Do it if you like mango snapper. Mango snapper. Let's guys, go. let's. Let's see how Lorenzo does catching, cooking, filleting his own lunch. Snapper sliders on Woo! the line. Hole. You're slapping yourself with your fish? Um, no, you're giving me a high five. High five. High fin. High fin. Okay. Yeah, something like that. All right, buddy, get your tools out. Okay, so first up, we have our knife bag. Let's slap this bad boy open. Or, I'm pretty sure the first thing we're going to use is this. No, nah, wrong one. Wrong one. This uh, one. No, nah, wrong. No, nah, that's. This nah, one. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Now. And then, safety, safety. Safety third. <laughs> safety third. Safety third on your left hand. On your left hand. Yep. Well, it, it, the opposite of your dominant hand. Anyway. So big. Okay. Okay. Right. We're good. Let me we're see good. that. Let me see that glove hand. My I don't know how you're going to do that. Now, you got to sharpen your knife. Got to sharpen my knife. Okay. Wait, wait. Yep. You got to give a little pressure. Yeah. A little pressure. All right. You should be good on the sharper. Wait, one more. Two more. All right, good. Nice and sharp. I'll move this for you. Okay, now, Lorenzo. Woo, let's start. First thing you're gonna do is what? You're gonna make your outlines on both sides, yeah, right? Make your outline. There you go. There you go. Make your cut. Not, you're getting a little too far into the. There you go. Make miss, your cut. I missed some meat there, but. Gotta make your cut. Ooh. This is where it's important. You don't want to mess up here. <gasps> no, you're not going deep. But yeah, it's a good thing you had your glove on there. Jimmy for dinner makes this look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes... Shoom. Well, he's probably filleted upwards of 20,000 fish in his life. I wonder if you were to count. Jimmy for dinner, if you ever see this video, <laughs> how many fish do you estimate you filleted in your life? That would be an interesting question for you all right now before you flip yeah flip them over uh, actually what did you do <laughs> dude you went you you just jumped sides of the fillet wait I'm a, yeah yeah you literally jumped. i'm gonna try to salvage this a little yeah okay there you go all right you're good all right now go flip it over make Woo! another cut Woo! make your other cut there you go give it a little cut all right. I don't know how you got that fin attached to your fillet there. That's all right. That's all right. We'll cut it off later. Okay, Try and go cl as close to the rib cage as possible. Keep going. And you're going to have to cut through the ribs a little bit. Right? Before you take it all the way off. Yep. Flip it over. That's actually not bad. Really? That's okay. better than my first one. Yep. Flip it over. Before you take it off, you flip it over. <laughs> you're always cutting away from yourself. Your weight away from your body. This, I missed a step. Maybe. It's all right. Should go ahead. Just cut through. You just gotta cut through. And you cut all the way through on that one. I keep keep it. going. Just keep pressing through. I you just need it. Oh, look at all that meat I missed. Oh yeah, you trashed that one. Play, flip it over. 
Dude, that feels good. Flip it over. That okay, now, now, well, hold on, hold on. Yes. Now, come on, no, here. I already and, did that. And, and push through, push through, push through, and take it out. Don't cut your wrists. It wouldn't be good. Yep, push through. Atta boy. Oh, come on, oh, oh. push through. You just gotta get through the rib cage. You're almost there. Bam. Okay. Woo. Now, dude, that's dude. Not bad. Not bad. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much meat's left when you get the skin off. All right, Mr. Mango. Thanks dude, for like everything. No meat on that list. Dude, that looks good. That actually looks pretty good. All right, Lorenzo, you very proud. I'm proud of you, buddy. Thank with you. All this. Let's see what's in the stomach. We are gonna throw our carcass away and. We have some bags that we have. La Bamba's Mexican and Spanish restaurants. We do a lot of takeout from there because it's the best restaurant in the world. Ooh. Lorenzo is going to, he's going to check the stomach content. Is that a shrimp? Shrimp. Dude, that is a shrimp. There was a shrimp in his stomach and that's about it. Right. Wait, it's so full. Lorenzo's checking the stomach contents of his snapper. <laughs> now that you satisfied your disgusting little interest there. All right, come on. Put them in, mm. put them in. Yeah. Right in the La Bamba bag. La Bamba. Get, put that nasty shrimp that's got stomach juices all over it. Oh, put, yeah. Woo. Yes, put that in there too. Oh, we don't oh, want... oh, that's not good. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. Oh. It's not, no, I mom see this. <laughs> now, the, the next step is. I know what to do. I know what to do. Skin I gotta skin it. Skin it yep. so I get and you're gonna use the long out. knife to skin oh, it. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, that's it. Take, it take it out. Take it out. Yeah. I feel so. All right. Oh, that is now. Ready? All right. Yeah. You hold it down with the short knife. Oh boy. Yeah, but Lorenzo is doing his best to skin his snapper, and well. Not bad. I mean, well, there's no meat there, left. There's yeah. It is. It's not too bad. You missed a little bit of meat there, but um, you know, it's. I'm getting better. Getting better. This is your first. Second. The second fish you've ever filleted. Okay, so now we'll leave this mutilated piece of flesh over here. <laughs> All right, and then to you're gonna do the one. same thing with that. Oh. You gotta hold it down. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. That's actually pretty good, dude. Yeah, but that looks like a little yeah, cement buddy. right there. No, we're gonna get the rib cage out. Right here is a oh, rib cage. Yeah. You see this thing right here? You gotta cut, basically cut this out. Okay. And try not to cut as as, as little of the meat off as possible. Okay, not bad. That's good. That's not that's not bad at all. All right. So that, so those are all the bones, guys. It looks like a little bit of piece of meat there, but believe it or not. That's actually a really All good right, job. Let's, let's check your mutilated piece of meat. <laughs> hey, this one looks better. This one and looks we, better. Look, we got to check for bones. I feel There's bone still, right well, we haven't done that one yet. There's still a little bit of bone right here. Slice not there. here. Just trust me. And here. So you got to take a little piece of meat out in order to get the bone out. Oh, okay. my God, looks so good. Mutilated. All right, yeah. All right, Lorenzo, let me see your first fillet. Complete and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Here, let's rinse it off. Let's rinse off your fillet. No, easy, easy. You don't want to blow away what little meat is left. <laughs> blow away. Yeah, blow it away. Blow it down the sink. She. Okay. Well. Uh, what, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> let's make it look. As beautiful as, as beautiful as possible. <laughs> wow. So what you're gonna do with this is it's just in the middle. Oh my goodness, that's a big rib cage. Guys, see there's a big you can actually see the ribs coming down here, and then there's this these things that spike out right here. Is you're gonna yeah, right like there. a little thing right there, and a little and a little thing right there. Yeah. Oh that's actually good. It's a big that's spine. I'm trying to like mutilate your fillet. No, I'm trying to like savor the meat. Okay. All right, well, that's pretty good. And then here's what you're gonna do. Not, there's it's, nothing. It's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but you just you might as well just slice. Oh. You might as well just slice right. 
Oh. Right there, slice oh. that. Because th oh. those are just, those are all ribs right there. Dude, wait. Yeah, cut that off. Because that's just ribs. Oh, what so, is that? Lorenzo's got a silver dollar piece of filet there. <laughs> How you do is like tw twice the size. Damn. All right, guys, comment down below which one of these fillets you think Lorenzo did a better job on. The first one or the I mean, second there's one? There's more meat on the. I, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's see. There's more meat on the first one. Well, when you put it all together, it looks bigger. It's all falling apart. Okay, <laughs> Lorenzo, are you ready to cook your fish? I'm ready to cook my fish. Okay, Lorenzo, Woo! so your, your fish are filleted this is or whatever that is. This is something I actually am pretty good at. I'm pretty good at cooking. So gonna, oh, we'll find out. Okay. I've cooked multiple times. Okay, we'll find out. All right, so Lorenzo, you got a little bit of olive oil in your pan. I see that, right? Yes. And yeah. while we're waiting for the pan to heat up, why don't you go and uh, season your fish? So I'm start with the garlic salt. A little garlic salt. Is this how you open yep, it? Yep, yep. Go ahead and spray some with garlic salt. Okay, a little bit, come on, a little bit more. A little bit, yeah, a little bit more, okay, good. And then on the other filet. All right, flip them. Don't be shy. Come on, all right. And then a little paprika. Paprika always makes us feel better. A little paprika makes us feel better all the time. A little, a little spice in our life. A little spice in the Okay, let's get a little paprika. There's pieces of his filet falling off all over the place. Okay. We don't need to talk awesome. about that. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. It's nice and hot. So now it's time for you to take your fillets. I'm gonna do the batter. Yeah, okay. Get them in there, lay it in. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Sausage. Awesome sausage. Woo! Good. That's good. Great. And it's not gonna take long. These are very small fillets. Oh, it smells so good already. Woo! It smells good. Oh, man, it smells good. Fish, we caught this fish like, what? Not even... Like an hour ago? An hour ago? Like an hour ago. Yeah, the fish wasn't even like... Had, didn't even have full rigor mortis yet. I mean, it was Yeah, like, it was still flexible. There you go. All right, so this is literally gonna, just going to take a so minute good. or so on each side because these fillets are not very big. Especially that one. Lorenzo is actually going to make, while we're waiting, he's going to make some sandwiches out of Hawaiian rolls, mayonnaise, Mangrove snapper, dude, that sounds like that sounds good. amazing. That sounds, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Uh, I would say flip it. Flip. Okay. And flip. Oh. Oh. That's oh. Nice. oh. Oh. Yeah. Lorenzo. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh. so good. Okay. And well. Guys, and guys, this is not too hard. I mean, we just went to it and let. A mango snapper, remember, it has to be um, 10 inches. Yeah, and you have to have a fishing license. So, but other than that, <laughs> we're legal and we're good, and that's about it. Oh! Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, I think we're done, dude. Oh. We're done, we're done. Let's do some magic with your your stuff over here actually let's move this yeah, so here okay get get your hawaiian rolls out. i think there might be enough for maybe two sandwiches two hawaiian roll sandwiches there what do you think yeah i need a knife lorenzo's got his hawaiian rolls can i just cut it in half just cut it in yeah. half just cut it in half and dude i think we're gonna pray right now lord bless this food thank you so much for giving it to us we pray that uh you would just bless us and bless our time and thank you so much for this mangrove snapper. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, Lorenzo, get some mayonnaise on that bad boy. You need to, like, have every single bite. Then. All right. You don't have to, like, beat the roll up with the mayonnaise. Okay. Lorenzo, why don't you go ahead and load up your fish okay, I'm just on your sandwich. This. And that. All right. Hold on. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, my. Here. What we'll do is we'll, I'll plate mine up here, too. Here. Plate it up. Plate it up. Plate it up. You're gonna have a little, little chicken. Less chicken than me. Chicken. I mean, fish. It kinda tastes like chicken. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Guys, oh. guys, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> that actually looks really, really good. All right, guys, these are 
snapper sliders on Woo! Hawaiian roll. Lorenzo, are you ready to eat, dude? Yes, this is my, this my dad's. Okay, Lorenzo. And it, and, it, and it even has this grease, nice grease, grease on the on top it. of oh. Hawaiian roll. Okay, why don't you go ahead and eat yours, buddy, and let me know how you think it tastes. Alright. Let's just ooh, let's just take one big fat bite. Yeah. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> What's the matter, dude? No. What's the matter? What's wrong? Does it taste bad? I wish I could say it. I don't wish. It's the best. It's the, oh my gosh. I, I'm speechless. That's that is awesome. It's just like I can taste the paprika. I can taste the garlic salt. It tastes awesome. Okay. On, a, on a scale of one to ten. What do you give your snapper slider? Probably 10. A 10? That's great. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. so good. Dude, like, just the wine roll with the snapper, it just, like, it gives it that extra. A little bit of taste. sweetness to the bread. Mm. That's good. So how does it feel, like, on your very first cooking um, experience with fish to do a 10? It makes me want to cook again. Yeah, you want to cook again? Mm -hmm. I think we're into it, dude. All right, you got... Cook fish. You got snapper all over your face, dude. It's awesome. Awesome. Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. Awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, perfect. It's perfect. The, the snapper is cooked perfectly because it's not overcooked, yet it has that little crunchiness on the outside of the, of the filet, and you can taste that inside. Perfectly seasoned. The wine roll gives a nice little, like a little tiny bit of sweetness to the to the sandwich, and it's really, really amazing. Yeah, and that's all that's left, guys. I'm giving this a perfect ten. It's a perfect ten, Lorenzo. So, buddy, good job, man. I, I can't believe that you just your first cooking experience that you got. You scored a perfect ten. It doesn't hurt that you have mango snapper. It's hard to mess up a mango snapper. They're just, they taste amazing. That's true. But this is really good. Guys, if you ever want to have a fun, easy um, catch and cook, you get some mango snapper and some Hawaiian rolls, and that's it, dude. Like a little bit of mayonnaise, and you just doesn't need, probably just some salt would be just fine. And you season them with salt, maybe a little paprika or something like that. Barely put any salt. Yeah, a little bit of mayonnaise or something like that. And it's like sliders all day long. I mean, it's definitely better when they're fresh like this. But guys, I'm so happy um, that my son caught, filleted, and cooked, and fed me and him with his own little mango snapper. Buddy, I'm so proud of you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching Watch Your Life. As you can see, we ate, devoured this thing. Yeah, that was good. I wish we had more, but we have to be content. We're content. We're, we're, we're fasting. We're fasting. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we had a great time catching this fish. We had a, I had a great time playing and cooking this fish. So, without a doubt, why don't you hit that subscribe button, because why not? And hit that like button, because I love Mingo Snapper. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching the video, and peace. Lorenzo, yeah. do you know what this stone is for? Doesn't it like make your hands smell better? Like yeah, that? so. I don't know how to yeah. use it. It's I don't know if I'm using it. It's stainless steel. Right? When you rub stainless steel on your hands, the idea is that it's supposed to take the fish smell out. Let's see. But I got news for you. <laughs> You're supposed to wash them with soap and water first. <laughs>